Guys, first fish on the new boat. Oh my god, there we go. There we go. Is he big? That's not bad. What's up guys, Z Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another epi banger video. I'm here with my buddy Augie out here today. He's turned around. He survived the, you're about to throw up? Oh, okay. But we're out at actually the dried up lake. So we're in the part of it that actually still has water and I'm taking out the new boat for its first maiden voyage today. I got a couple things tied up, some micro fishing stuff, some what? I, we gotta hurry up, they're busting is what he said. So I got some top water tied on, I got some big swim baits tied on, I even got a ganterelle. I, I might get frisky and throw today, but we're in a little bit part of the lake where it looks like it's fine, it looks like it's about to pour. So I'm gonna bring all my camera gear with me, like a dingus, and try to see if I can survive the water today. So hopefully we can catch a few and break in the new boat. I've actually caught fish on this boat before, so it doesn't really matter, but we're gonna try to get out there today, test out everything, see how everything goes, and uh, I'll see you guys in the water. Let's get to it. All right, guys, well, good thing the, the boat floats and uh, we're fishing. We're having a little bit of fun. Hopefully the rain doesn't hit us, but I'm actually really happy that the boat's working out for us right now. I'm just super excited about it. I mean, we're booking it. We're having a lot of fun. The fish finder's working. We're two big old boys. Yeah, we're huge. Like, I think we might, are we over the weight limit right now? Yeah, we're probably close to the weight limit, but right there, guys, is the uh, fish finder. It's working perfectly, if you guys can tell. It's currently 88 degree water, which isn't good. We got some brush underneath us. That's dope. But what we're doing right now is essentially we're working this bank. We're drifting it, kind of. I'm trying to get us to where I can fish, too, at the moment. But right now, I'm not even fishing anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But right now, what we're going to do is just fish this bank. Hopefully, it's good. I'm going to run my buzz bait, swim jig, swim bait, micro fishing, whatever it is. If we find a brush pile, I'm going to start jigging it, honestly, because I want to try doing that. But I actually, I have the fish finder running something called right now called quick draw contours. So I'm about to make a map of this entire lake and how deep it is right now. It is extremely shallow. So <laughs> we're going to have to take it, take our time fishing it, learning how to catch some fish out here. But uh, I'm going to stop talking on the camera i'm gonna get the fishing i'm gonna put the gopro on let's go and i really like the uh guggen hummer because it has the bubble holes in it the bubblers yep yep it said bomb here listen to it dude you just got blown up on oh there we go dude you broke in the new boat is that a pickerel that's, that's a, a pickerel. no, that's a pickerel. Dude, that's the first time I've ever seen a pickerel caught in Jackson. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. That is a chain pickerel, guys. Are you messing with his teeth? <laughs> Man, you brave, bro. He ain't got teeth. Like he has a little bit of teeth. Let me see. Let me actually get this on my big camera. All right, guys. Augie caught the first fish on a popper. That's a chain pickerel. This is dangerous. Yeah, he's <laughs> lipping a chain pickerel because he thinks he's cool. I am cool. Dude, what's the biggest pickerel you've ever caught? Two pounds. Oh, so it's not as big as that one. No. Oh, yeah, that one's not even close. No. But th those are actually kind of pretty fish. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you actually eat them. Yeah, I know the redfin pike you can eat, and I actually want to try. Yeah, a, a lot fin of people pike. have eaten these. I don't want to eat that one. You don't want this little fellow? I don't you have don't a cooler. Do you have a cooler? I don't have a cooler. You got a backpack? We can ring up a stringer. Yeah, let's use some 65 pound braid as a stringer. I'd be down. I've done it. Do you need pliers? I kind of do. I'm not sticking my fingers all the way halfway <laughs> down the throat. Give me a second. I got you. <laughs> Do you think I should tie on a frog versus this? I don't know. I think this would be I better. Like what was that, dude? That was something big. I'm really curious what that was now. It's probably giant everything, dude. Oh my god! There we go! There we go! There we go. That's a good one. Buzzbait was a good choice. How big is it, you think? Oh, not bad at all. Oh, he's getting in the grass. Please don't get in the transducer. No. Oh, that's a good fish. Come on. There we go, baby. That's a decent one the, oh the buzz bait just came out too guys first fish on the new boat ain't a bad one what is that a three three and a half about to give her a oh you have the same skill i do so it's safe 
Maybe. Dude, let's go. Busby Godian. Oh. Is that working? Low battery. Oh. You carry batteries on you? Here, I got it. I got it working. Is it still working? Yep. 313. Let's go, dude. I'm actually not against a 313 on the, fir on the first fish for the boat, man. That's so sick. Almost four pounds. Almost four pound. First fish on the boat's a four pounder. Almost four pounder. Whoa, Bubba. Whoa, yeah, yeah. I, Whoa. I can't I can't be like that. Whoa, Bubba. You got a fish? Yeah. Is he big? Yeah. That's not bad. I guess. Well, I, I had a feeling we need to get out of this area. Oh. Oh, look how skinny he is. Dear God. You got it? Boat flip. Dang, look at the mouth. Holy crap. All right, guys. Augie just got onto one. That's freaking... Dude, look at the freaking mouth on that bad boy. Holy yeah, he's crap. He's so skinny. On the popper. Literally, like, I didn't even hear the blow up. It was just like it didn't blow up. He didn't blow up. He just like slurped it up, and then it was just gone. That rain's getting real close right now. But guys, there another fish of the day. Number three. Is this actually a bass? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's actually a. Yeah, it's a bass. Yeah, actually yeah, it's it a bass. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't believe it, dude. I thought it was another pickerel for a second. Oh my god, dude. Dope, dude. That Damn. head, dude. I can't get over how big the head is compared to the body. It should be. Show it sideways real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's hilarious how the freaking head is. <laughs> you jab me. Oh my lord. Right. Dope. Hannah's yours. But she's not. <laughs> the set, two setting. Hold up. Oh my god, dude. That was a giant. Holy crap, holy crap. Did you see that? Oh my God, that was a carp. That's a carp. <laughs> that is a carp. Dude, the hook is bent. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. I wonder where all these carp came from. That was a Mondo carp, dude. That was a freaking Gargantosaurus, dude. The giants. Carp City, you bitch. You want to see it? They got both in. Was it really a bowfin? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I saw the freaking swim bait come at me on camera. That was crazy. Holy crap. So guys, we are currently about, it's, uh, the fish finder says 7.30, so it's 7.30 o'clock. 7.30 o'clock, yeah. I'm actually throwing the ganterel right now, and honestly, I'm gonna have to pick up more ganterels because those things, they have amazing action. And honestly, we've been chasing schools of like shad and stuff like that right now, just trying to catch fish. Carp, y'all saw me set the hook on a carp, but uh, right now, we aren't really getting much action. We're actually surrounded by people, if you guys can't really tell. We're surrounded by other boats, and this is like literally the only water that's left in the lake at the moment. We're fishing it for fun, seeing how it goes, and uh, I think it's been a great first day out on the boat, I think officially. Like a pickerel, almost a bowfin just right there. Two bass that were decent, decent bass I would say. I think we're gonna give it a little bit longer, maybe like 30, 40 more minutes and uh, see how it goes. I'm just gonna honestly throw a buzz bait and swim bait for the rest of the day and just see how that goes. Tune you guys in as things happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's I got that on video. <laughs> <He's gone. laughs> Dude, look. Oh my god, dude. Look at that, dude. Did you see that tail? That... Oh, there's a fish. Dude, there's a fish. I don't know. 
It's head shaking. It's a bass, dude. I think it's a bass. Oh, let's go first fish on the Gantorel. Let's go, baby. <laughs> please don't get off. Please don't get off. Dude. Scoop him, scoop him, scoop him. Scoop him. Football grab. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Probably could have just flipped him. Dude, let's go. Absolute freaking football. Hit a little butt. You grab him? You got him? Yeah, let's go, baby. First fish on the Gantorel, dude. She's fat. Let's go, dude. Augie, what'd you just catch? My cousin. Another pickerel. <laughs> That's so great. That's hilarious. This dude's a pickerel king. Dude, that was my cousin. That was Jerome. <laughs> So guys, that was it for today's video. I'm back home in my apartment now. I'm getting ready to go back inside, but I just want to say that was an awesome first day on the boat. Awesome first swim bait fish. I was so excited about that swim bait fish. I was overall just excited about the buzz bait bite and the swim bait fish. I was okay with catching one good fish that entire day, but to catch that fish on a swim bait, that was the Jack All Gantorel Jr. So if you guys want to do me a huge favor, go check out the Jack All Gantorel Jr. from Shop Carl's because that bait is amazing. It just, you can crank it. What I found was the best cadence for the Jack All Gantorel was to crank the handle four times, twitch, twitch, then pause, and then keep cranking. That right there is what caught me that fish. I was using the fact that whenever you twitch the rod with the Gantorel Jr., it does a full 180. And that right there, I, I can't tell you how the action of that bait just looks absolutely beautiful. That was, the place I was fishing is called Lake Jackson, and it was a, the one of the only parts that actually still has water in it, so I hit that, and it was a lot of fun. We caught, I think, three fish, and it was for probably a total bag of 10 to 11 pounds even maybe I would say almost 12 out of three fish a three fish bag for 12 pounds imagine if we caught two more fish we probably would have been at 18 19 pounds and that is a beautiful bag because most people can't even do that on their bass boat just think about that most people cannot catch a bag that big on their bass boat like I mean that was amazing big swim bait fishing overall that lake was incredibly shallow to map it out and everything that was really cool but overall I would say that was an awesome day for me awesome day for my buddy Augie and uh yeah it was a very fun day I'm glad I have the boat and it was actually very very easy to load in and out of the back of my truck and just hang out and that battery lasted the entire time full juice everything so super happy with the battery but i really want to upgrade to and lithium in the future hopefully i can hit up a, i've been working and talking to a certain company about that not really going to spill any details on that part right now today was awesome i want to say thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting me and thank you guys for leading me to a spot where i want to keep making videos as much as i can and i want to say thank you guys if you guys want to show some love on this video make sure y'all love it love Love it like it is what i meant like it also make sure you guys are subscribed with the bell notifications on those have been getting sent out really weirdly lately so please do me that favor if you guys want to support me on a financial basis hit up my amazon links down in the description hit up my mtb uh code hunter fish and it always helps me out and you will get your first mtb for as low as ten dollars and let me tell you with baits like jack Algantarell being on carl's bait and tackle you'll never know what you get i heard that there was a uh like a contender or something recently and that is crazy if there was a contender in there. Baby bull shad was actually another thing that got bit today from Augie. I showed you guys that. Just do me a favor, support me. Go check out Shop Carl's, Mr. Tackle Box, all that stuff. And also, I don't know if I really talked about it on my videos. Use code Hunter Fisher on safishing.com. It'll get you 10% off any order you make through Salt Armor, and that would do me a huge solid if you guys use that code. So I'm done doing all this marketing crap. I'm done. I've talked about it for too long. Thank you guys for watching. It always helps me out. And I want to say, guys, you are awesome. And remember, Fish for me.